why I, it's Jordi Ninja. Um, what we're going to talk about today is about this sparring, getting in the ring, getting in the cage, grappling, things like that. Um, I got taught in a very hard fashion. A lot of my coaches just uh, punched the information into us, that's all I'll say. Um, all my coaches have been hard, but with a good reason in some kinds. Um, when I was really young, um, I was the youngest in the class, and basically I used to get beaten up. Um, what I found is, um, you'd use two thirds of the people as soon as you put them in a ring, as soon as you put them in a testing period, uh, put them in an MMA cage or give them a grappling. Um, it's certainly not the same as what I thought it was going to be. You'll put two thirds of them off. Really what I'm trying to do is get the two thirds to get used to it. One third of most people will grapple and punch and box and spar and love it and they're like, they'll always love it and they'll always enjoy it and always want to do it. Um, the two thirds will be really good if you give them more time, if you give them more patience and don't force them into it. You can always force people through like little, little movements, drill forms um, to get them more used to it. The only way you can get used to something is by doing it. You can't avoid it. You'll get to a certain grade where you should spar. You have to spar. Even in ninjutsu, uh, which is noted for not sparring, we always spar. Um, we've always sparred. Um, we've always played randori. You've tried the movements out, see if the movements work. If the don't movements work, you're going to go back to the drone board, see what it does, see what works or see what doesn't work for you. It becomes your personal signature. But the same as any sort of sparring. You'll have certain ways or certain fashions that you'll do something that other people won't. But everyone should be able to spar. Um, if they can't spar, there's a reasoning behind that. Does the coach not decide that it's, oh no, we're transcended sparring. Um, I'm sorry, any any strike I'll do would kill somebody. Well, you should learn control. You should learn to do it. Um, so you're not forced to put up with it if you can't do it. Uh, technique wise, a lot of times people, I won't do this technique because it's too dangerous for people. Put the technique in with control and you can control every movement. I train with swords, I've never killed anybody with a sword. I've thought it about it a few times, but I've never done it. So you should learn control. We'll do Tamashigiri, we'll do test cutting. Um, that's just the same as somebody's neck or somebody's arm. I just don't need to kill somebody to learn how to do it. But I do need to do the action. Same as sparring, you do drills, let the drills forms, get the action of the movement over. Then as you get used to the drill forms, start to exchange the movement, then gradually build up into sparring. Start off light rounds, start off one minutes, start off 30 second bursts. Sometimes I'll do one and a half minute bursts where one person's attack, one person's defend. Then you reverse the rules. So it works out to do the three minute round, they're just doing a specific action. Some people are counter fighters, some people are fighters. In that sense, give them give them that bit. Get If they're counter fighters, start to wean them into fighting. Um, if they're not counter fighters, make them counter fight, make them wait. Um, if you don't like sparring, Wean them into sparring gently, don't force them into an issue. If you force somebody, all they're going to do is leave. They'll put so many barriers up that they can't do it, that they'll put a barrier up that they won't train. Those are the people that you should get into sparring. Those are the ones will be, that will be really good at sparring if you give them a bit more time, give them a bit more patience. Um, don't force them into anything, but do push them forward. Sometimes everyone puts a massive misconception about sparring that it's going to be a spar to death and they're going to die. Or you'll get people that'll come in that'll only want to spar. Oh, I don't want to learn any drills, I'm just here for the sparring. Yet when you see them spar, can I spar, can I spar, can I spar? Right, so yes, you can spar. And as soon as they start sparring, they're not very good, they just wanted to spar. Um, so if they've done the drills better, they'll be able to spar better. So I don't make that makes no sense to me, but that's what people want to do. So Sparring's good for everything you do. Whatever art that you do, it should be some element of sparring. It's uh, not a, um, it's not a thing you should miss out of. Um, age restrictions, change on the age restrictions. Don't let, don't let a kid spar with an adult. Never let them do that. Play around with the movements. If you're nervous about sparring, do restricted sparring. So they're only learning or looking at one specific thing. Then add an next bit on. Then an next bit on. Then next bit on. What it'll do is it'll give the person that's underconfident more confidence if they come in overconfidence 
in the let them spar and they don't like it. They either adjust the sparring and relax or they leave. Uh, everything should begin and end respect, like I always say. Um, we have one rule at the gym, if you hurt somebody, you go to the hospital with them. So when the nurse asks you what happened, you go, this idiot. So everything should be learned in a controlled environment, but you should always get people to do a sparring element. That help of the adrenal, how it used, how you can use all your techniques that you've learned, uh, brings a total different focus to how you train. Um, and it makes it easier for everyone. Um, because people put misconceptions that the sparring's too hard and they'll never be able to do it. When they do do it, when they're persuaded to do it and they help to do it, they actually become to enjoy it and it sometimes become the best part of their class. Um, that's why you shouldn't do it. Never give up on them. Um, the, the third that can spar and like spar and want to fight everyone, they're all right with that. The only, they become unstuck when the people that weren't very good at it get better than them because they don't do the drills. So do your drills, do your partner training and do sparring. All right, take it easy.